What's up, Android fans? Tech and Me is finally back. So let's get to it. First off, a huge apology to all my subscribers and fans. I'm really sorry I couldn't make videos all this all this time. Actually, uh, a lot of stuff happened. My laptop was stolen and all that personal stuff I had to take care of. But I'm finally back for good. So here we are. I'm to tell you what's on my Galaxy Note 2. So let's get First to it. First off, my lock screen. On my lock screen, I have ultimate custom clock widget right over there. And I have the date and the time, obviously. And then, this is widget locker. I have the Jelly Bean unlock screen. If I swipe up, I go straight to Google now. Swipe left, I go to my camera, my phone, my flashlight, and unlock. So here we are at my home screen. I have five screens. So let's start off with the leftmost screen. On my leftmost screen, I have any do widget, which are things to do, and it's scrollable right over there. All right, next, the Falcon Pro widget, and this is basically a Twitter client. So here we are, I can scroll, I can read all my tweets and every, everyone else's tweets, and it pops up like a nice little pop-up notification if I wanna check what's in the tweet or the link. On my home screen, I have Google search bar right on top. I can click on it and straight to Google now. Next, I have thousand clocks widget. I'll be doing a review on it in my next video. And below that, I have the weather forecast with eye in the sky widget right over there. Next up, I have on this screen, I have my catch widget on top, which is basically note taking app. And then I have some uh, apps right here which I commonly use and it's a swipe and there's a blank screen right over here it's just a blank screen I just like to you know add widgets and all that stuff play around with different types of widgets and apps or whatever in my dock I have my phone my messages which is go SMS and then I have my app drawer calendar and Google Chrome alright but I have some gestures as well if I swipe up I go straight to my app drawer if I swipe down, I go to my notification bar. I uh, basically pull down the notification. As you can see, my notification bar is hidden right now. When I pull it down, it reappears and it's gone again. So that's notification bar swipe gesture. If I double click, I go to my recent apps. So that's how I set it up. If I swipe up from my phone, I go straight to my contacts. If I swipe up from my messages, I go straight to my email, swipe up from my app drawer icon, and I go straight to Google Now. Wait. There you go. Okay. Calendar, there's no swipe, swipe gesture in the calendar, and if I swipe up from my Chrome, I go straight to my camera. When I swipe down, and as you can see, notification bar, I have the eye in the sky, and it shows me the current weather. Of wherever I am so it's a really nice little weather app eye in the sky next uh, you can I can swipe it I just have two pages of dock so I swipe it and I get to my folders here I have photo editing apps and then on the next I have my storage online storage apps like Google Drive and box next I have my settings folder where I have lookout Skype uh, home smack which is to different uh, to alternate between different home screen then I have my cam scanner and different stuff like swipe pad and all that stuff okay and right over here this is just another folder just for the heck of it here I just put all the new apps that I've installed just to play around with them and if I don't like them I just uninstall them right over here this is basically shopping app so I have Amazon, I have uh, Yelp, and I have all these uh, basically my bank account stuff, and then I have Fandango for movies and all this stuff. So that's my shopping folder. All right, swipe it, and we're back in home screen. All right, but that's not all. When I swipe from the leftmost side, I have Swipe Pad installed. So when I when I swipe from the left side of the screen, not the top, but the bottom left side. I get to swipe pad and this is basically my favorite apps or most commonly used app so I have Gmail, Yahoo Mail, a calendar and then I have my flashlight I have my wife I can just straight away call her and text her 
and then I can I go straight to my what you may call it maps s note play store and all that other stuff all right here I have this custom navigation uh, set to my home so if I just click right there it goes straight to my navigation and lastly I have paper artist which comes with Samsung Galaxy Note it's a really nice little photo editing app all right then I swipe from my right side I have two swipe gestures one on the top side and one on the bottom side on the top side if I swipe I get to my social apps like Facebook spring pad which is basically a note-taking it's basically a digital organizer I'll be doing a review on spring pad shortly catch which is my note-taking app Facebook uh, camera, Google Plus, hit me up on Google Plus, awesome, awesome, much better than Facebook, I really like Google Plus. Zedge is my wallpaper and ringtone app, Google Now, or Google Search basically, and Instagram, and Zite, Flipboard, these are my news apps, and Pocket, which is for basically a read later app. Then swipe down, I mean swipe from the right lower corner or right lower side basically and I get to my settings and basically this is like I can go straight to my uninstalling like app application manager and I can have I have one click cleaner to clean all my cache I have home flip home flip is basically uh, if you when you want to switch between uh, different apps like watch the yeah this is home home flip so all these all these are my recent apps if I click on one of them, I go straight to that app. So that's Home Flip. I'll be doing a review on it shortly. So I have Home Flip right over here. I have my clock. I have my file manager, which is Solid Explorer. I have uh, audio manager, which is basically to hide personal pictures or whatever. And uh, but it's called audio manager just for the heck of it, so nobody suspects it. Uh, I have Pick Push for uploading pictures. AirDroid for transferring files from computer to phone and phone to computer. I have Home Smack to change between different launchers. I have a lot of launchers installed because I keep trying out new launchers. And the bottom row I have a calculator, Bump, and lastly I have Lookout. Bump and Lookout. Lookout is basically what you may call it, an uh, antivirus, as well as if I lose my phone, it can keep a track of where my phone is by based on GPS location. And it can even take a picture of who stole my phone. So it's a really nice app. Everyone should have Lookout installed on their phone. All right, so that's what's on my Galaxy Note 2. Also, I have a things, things link stuck on the back, which I can easily hold a big phone with one hand by sliding my finger below it. So it's, a, it's called Thingsling. I'll be doing a giveaway in my next video on one of the Thingslings. Thingsling people were nice enough to send me one for a review. All right, so that's Thingsling. That's it for now. Don't forget to hit that like button. App Roundup coming up next time. All right, take care, guys. Peace. Bye-bye. Tekken me signing out. Shoot. Tekken me. Tekken me.